Hey everybody, I'm Victor Montevice from Line 6, and today we're hanging out at Craft Music to bring you the latest in the Spider series of amplifiers, the Spider 5. Today we'll be demoing a Spider 5 120, so I'll show you all the new features and goodies that have been packed into the box, and we'll talk about some of the differences between the family members in the new Spider 5 lineup. So be sure to check out great deals and bundles at Craft Music. So let's talk a little bit about what's new with the Spider 5 line. We've got over 200 amps, cabs, effects, and mic models packed into each one of these boxes, so without a doubt it's the most versatile Spider ever. There's also been a major revision to the cabinets themselves, and they're now a full range flat response system, which consists of your traditional guitar driver as well as a high frequency tweeter. The benefits of this include not only using pre-recorded music through the amp, but uh, if you feel like using electric instruments as well as acoustic electric instruments, you get all the added detail in the high end. We've also updated the front panel. Besides just being a pretty new face for the amps, it's also given you a bit of functionality. So we've basically given you two modes where you're editing all of your amp, cabinet, and mic sounds, and then with a click of a button, we switch over and we're now editing all of our effect sounds. For another option in editing all of your sounds and effects, we also offer the free Spider Remote graphic editing app. It's a visual-based system which lets you swipe left and right on a smart device, which you connect to the back of the amp with a USB cable. And it just offers another option, another workflow for people who might not want to tweak directly on the amp itself. The Spider 5 series of amplifiers also offer some incredible practice tools. Built into the systems, we have pre-recorded drum loops, a built-in metronome, and a demo riff feature, which basically allows the amp to play for you while you do all of the tweaking. It also has some awesome recording solutions, as all of the amps can record directly to a Mac or PC over USB. And for those of you who don't have recording software yet, all Spider 5 family members come with a free copy of Cubase LE. <laughs> So the Spider 5 family of amplifiers consists of a 30, 60, 120, and 240 watt combo amp versions. As we move up the line, we're not only doubling our power and increasing the headroom in the amp, but the amp's speaker size is growing, and there are some incremental feature sets that also move up the line. So starting with the Spider 60 and up, we've added the built-in digital receiver, so you can play wirelessly with these units. We've also added in the built-in looper. With the Spider 120, we've also added direct XLR outputs on the back of the amp, so you can record directly to a console or send it out to a PA front of house system. So as we upgrade to the Spider 5 240, we've not only again doubled the power, but now we have two 12-inch guitar speakers and two high-frequency tweeters, so we're getting a stereo image directly from the box. All right, now this is one of the coolest features I think we've added into the Spider 5 family of amplifiers, and it's starting with the Spider 60 and up. Uh, we've built in a digital wireless receiver to the front end of the amp, and it works with the Relay G10T digital wireless transmitter simply by plugging in to the input jack. When the amp is on, that will also charge the transmitter, and then anytime I want to use it, it's as simple as pulling out, plugging it into my guitar. There's no work to be done. It's doing all the automatic channel selection for me, and I simply play. And for performance-based control for the Spider 5 series of amplifiers, we also offer the FBV3 shortboards, as well as the FBV Mark IIs and the FBV Express. These will allow you to change your presets on the fly with the press of a foot switch, as well as allow you to turn on individual effects inside of each of your presets. All of these accessories are available throughout the various bundles Craft Music offers, but if you're not seeing the exact configuration you'd like, be sure to get a hold of the guys at Craft Music and they'll put together a custom bundle for you. So 
So let's take a minute and we'll give you guys an overview of how the front panel works and setting up your tones and doing all of your editing. So at a first glance, you'll notice that all of the knobs have a white LED over them, which corresponds to what you would expect to see on an, an amplifier. So we have our drive, our EQ, and our volume controls. To the right to the right of that, I've got a second button labeled effects. And if I press that, you'll notice the LEDs now switch to these beautiful color-coded LEDs, and they correspond to different effects. So these knobs are basically pulling double duty between amp controls and effect parameters. Now, the way that it lays out in your signal chain, effect knob one is always going to be a compressor. That'll be fixed there. The last knob is always going to be a reverb. I can change out the type of reverb, and I can dive into all the parameters if I'd like, but uh, it will always be a fixed reverb. Effects knob one, two, and three, however, are fully customizable, and you can overwrite these to be any effect you'd like. Simply turning the knob will give me more or less of that effect, so I don't have to spend hours diving into menus and playing with parameters. I just turn it up or down. You'll notice that the light turns on and off as I engage that effect with the knob. Now, you might also notice that here on the screen, it highlights the effect that I'm playing with. Now, if I feel like getting into more of my parameters in deep editing, I can always press the Edit button to bring up those parameters. And now, what's really cool, I mentioned that effects knob 1, 2, and 3 are fully customizable. I can change the effect category, and you'll notice that that change is also reflected here in the effects knob. And if you've uh, been familiar with any Line 6 products, you'll know we have a color scheme that we tend to follow where oranges are our reverbs, greens are delays, blues will be modulations, uh, light orange will be all of our gain-based effects, compressors, overdrives, fuzzes, and the purple is always our kind of wacky out there synth and filter-based effects. Continuing down the front panel of the amp, you'll notice a button with the play pause icon. And now that's going to be where we keep all of our built-in practice features. So simply pressing it, Now engaged in the demo riff mode. So this is the part I was telling you about where the amp will just play a DI guitar track for you while you set up the sounds. So the idea is while it's playing, I can tweak all of my effects and amp sounds. Also in this section, we have a built-in metronome, as well as built-in drum loops. And now as we reach the far end of the front panel on the Spider 5, you notice that we have our tap function, which allows you to sync certain effects to a time-based value. So things like modulations and delays can be simply synced to a specific tempo. And that button also pulls double duty. As we hold it, we'll engage the onboard tuner. And one of the features that's included on the Spider 60, 120, and 240 is the built-in onboard looper. And that button exists on those amp models directly to the left of our play pause icon button. So that wraps up the Spider 5 series of amplifiers. Again, I'm Victor Munzeweiss from Line 6, and we're hanging out with the guys at Craft Music. You guys are here. You know what Craft is all about. Be sure to check out the bundle deals. They'll give you everything you need to set up your amp. And uh, thank you guys for taking the time and watching.